Nighttime, as that one Nopon in Xenoblade says, it's your favorite time of day. Hey guys and gals, I'm Pal, and welcome back to Pal's Play Okami. Last episode, we went around Shinshu Field collecting beads, and we also met Cell, I mean, uh, Onigiri Sensei, and we got some brush techniques. This episode, we're going to be going around uh, Shinshu Field fighting Demon Scrolls. And you might have noticed, I said Pals Play, also the title of this video is Pals Play Okami. That is because I have a returning guest, sort of. Say hi. Hello again. This is my sister, Nova. Older sister. There you go. And, uh, I'm going... I can't pause, snap. I, I'm used to w the days where I could pause. But she ha was a guest in last episode. You didn't notice her? That's because she wasn't there. But in the t in the two failed takes that I mentioned, uh, she was the guest on those. Sadly, though, they didn't work out, and she had to, like, she was busy, so she wasn't able to do the third take, so I had to do that one. So, we're actually wasting moonlight, because I need to go and fight this one. We have a bunch of uh, enemies to fight, if you'll, if you'll remember. Because there are a bunch of wanted monsters on that list. So Nova's going to be helping me through those. And without further ado, we're going to get in the battle. I'm going to be showing these, I think. Do you think that's a good choice? Yeah. Yeah, I think I'm going to show them. You had, like, a new technique to show them? Yeah, I, I have... Whoa! I have the dodge, which is awesome. And I also have the, uh, the fourth hit of my reflector combo, which is super good. So let me go ahead and defeat these guys. Three, four... Uh, the fourth hit actually kills green imps in one combo. Nice. Before you can do that. Whoa! Uh, hit, hit, hit. And he's gonna block. Hit, hit, hit. There, there. Done. Okay. Now, with in one hit, I'm gonna floor finish him and knock out his guitar. And actually, one more. I think that's called a Koto. Is or it? Or a Shamsian? Yeah, sh Shamizen. Yeah. That's, that's the name. Yeah, I, I was trying to remember that. I mentioned it the first time they appeared. Thank you for knowing that. How did you know that? My piano keyboard. Oh. Well, what company is your piano keyboard? Uh, Yamaha, I believe. Yamaha for the win. Providing all the cu cultural references. Uh, th where's the next one? We have like five to get. Oh. Wait a minute. Wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. Hold the phone. We defeated that battle, but... We didn't get the guy. Look at... Show me the map. Okay. I, I know it's right around here. Bring up the map. Okay. It's this way. Just keep yeah, going straight. Right Wait. in the corner. Where? Right here. There it's it is. There. Okay. Yeah. Sorry, I fought the wrong guy. Let's go and fight this one. And okay, there here he we go. Okay. okay. Onimaru the incorrigible appeared. What and does incorrigible even mean? Uh, I'll put it on screen right now. That, that's my thing. If I don't know something, I always put it on screen. Or if I make a verbal mistake, I put that on screen. Actually, this guy's taking a lot of hits. A lot of hits. Uh, I think that the the guys that have marks on them are actually unique. Now, now just to clear up something. Uh, when you defeat the targeted monster, all the other ones will die. So that's a very good way to get through these battles very quickly. I was just going to ask, if after you defeat him, can you like leave? but you don't even need to. Yeah, and then it plays this awesome music, and I have to do the thing that I did last time. I, I uh, you remember when I was editing, I, I was talking to Nova, uh, getting her input on how I should, how I should, uh, blur the screen, and I, I figured this one out. Uh, but first of all, Isun's talking, so I'll let him talk. Well, you knew, you know what to do, my furry friend. A quick slash of your brush should do the trick. What I did is I made the whole screen black and white. You guys know what I'm talking about, because you can see it. I also made it look... Uh, it was incorrigible. What? Still trembling with excitement or something? Cross out the name with the straight line from left to right. Uh, but yeah, now it has like a, uh, a filter, so you can only see the center. That was horrible. Um, <clears throat> so you can only see the center, and it's in black and white, which is nice. That was even worse. The Z button's not working out for me. For me. I'm going to have to do it like so. Super carefully. There we go. Well, for one thing, you're not actually moving the remote, you're spinning in your chair. Well, that's that's how you do it. I have a swivel chair, which makes drawing straight lines super easy if you use the A button. Okay, well, before we go on to the next next demon scroll, I'm going to talk to this guy because uh, he's strange. He's comical. His name is Ida. Or Ida, I guess. 
Hey, cut it out. I'll play with you later. Lay off the guy, Furball. Can't you see he's suffering? Uh, I was trying to put him out of his misery. Ow, 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 ow. What's going on? Eda of the Dane of the Dongan Dongan Express never trips up. I must I've fallen and I can't get up. Must be a curse. What? Oh, she's laughing. Express manager messenger. Ida. I don't have time for falling over. People are waiting for mail. Those monsters must have must have set some kind of trap for me as a joke. Oh man. I knew I should have bought a traveler's charm. Hey, pooch. That's a dirt the uh, That's a traveler's charm you've got there, isn't it? You offered traveler's charm. We uh, we had no choice in the matter. Oh, yes. I feel so light. My body feels as light as a feather, and you also sting like a bee. Thanks, pooch. You saved me. Can't hang about. Got to catch on catch up to on my deliveries. Yeah, he's really fast. Now he will be just be running in a constant loop. Next time we see him, we need to talk to him. Oh man, it's daytime. Well, that's not good. There he is. Wait. Okay, this is the perfect chance to pass the time. We can't. Uh. Oh wow. Okay. Well, feeding him was the good choice because we need to chase up to him. Uh, let me go and splot him. Splot. Please talk, 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 talk. There we go. Get out of the way. Coming through. I've got a mountain load of lit of letters to deliver. Um, we want to talk to him. We want to do this and then hit him, I believe. Nice move, pooch. Yes, that's what you're supposed to do. It's not entirely clear, but that's the way to go. Um, wait, what? You're what are you trying to do? You're supposed to hit him. It activates something, but it's not working out. Uh, splotch. And hit him from in front. Nice move, Pooch. You're supposed to do this. Okay. Uh, that's strange. Okay, well, you, he, he's for a side quest later, apparently, but you can't talk to him now. So that that's strange. What we So where we want to go is down here, just to pass the daylight. And it's also required that we go down here, so I might as well do this. So, uh, down here is a... What? What? Fish. What? Oh yeah, that's good. Okay. Spoilers. <laughs> okay, so let's go this way. And Yeah, she was spoilerizing things because we did this in one of the failed takes, so she wasn't sure like if I'd done this. This is a new enemy, the dead fish. Which is one of the weakest of enemies of them all. In fact, it's they they purposefully made this a uh they made it a what what should we call it political reference no joke look it up this this enemy is a political reference to like the goldfish group or something like that but that aside uh your main strategy for this enemy is to power slash it right out of the bat it will knock it to the ground and it will be weak so you can go ahead and hit it just go ahead and keep on it until it's dead it's actually really easy now, when it is low on health, it will try to grab you, and it will suicide bomb you. When it does this, go ahead and just power slash it, and you can miss the floral finisher. Yeah, this enemy's kind of hard to get floral finishers on, but the floral finisher is power slash for those of you who are wondering. And there we go. That battle's out of the way. Now, there's Demon Scroll right here, and there's nothing else that I know of, so let's go in the house. Actually, but first, I think there's a secret back here. I just... I have a feeling that there is. Like, it's the strangest thing. Oh, well, I might as well feed these birds, then I'll go inside. I don't know what the secret is. And there we go. Okay, fed those birds. Oh, 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 oh. I almost had to eat a sock right there. You what? Oh, snap. Last episode, I mentioned how at the beginning of this episode, I was going to... Uh, upgrade my powers or else mm -hmm. I would have to eat a sock so oh. might as well do that now I know I'm sidetracking but we have to do this because I don't want to eat a sock so let's go ahead and start off with ink get one ink pot uh, upgrade our health once wait 
No, we don't need to upgrade our wallet. I don't know what I was thinking. Let's go and upgrade health once and twice and... We, oh, man, we're one praise short. Uh. Okay, well, as soon as I get one more praise, I'll upgrade our health a fifth time. Or fourth or fifth. However many times I did it. So, there we go. Uh, we can bloom this tree right here. That'll be helpful. Actually, wow, that'll give us the one praise we need. There it oh, is. Oh, nice. Perfect. Okay, so let me go and upgrade this. There we go. Now, with z exactly zero praise, we can go inside this building. Now that we're super powered up, I think we might we might be a little bit overpowered. Also, that is a that's a cool scroll. Uh, scroll down by wandering artist. Okay, uh, for those of you who are playing along, read that because it sounds interesting. And feedback. Okay, so let's go and hey, go in this. Sleeping like a log. Come back at night. You read the message. Guess we'll just have to come back at night. I'm of course it's like that. I'm really curious to see what's in there now. Yeah, of course it's like that. So, there's really nothing else to do. No joke. So, I guess I'll just cut back when it's nighttime, because we can't get those uh, those wanted monsters in the daytime, and we can't do anything else. So, uh, I'll be right back. That's very sad. So then I'm gonna do stuff. Okay. Okay, finally it's nighttime. Let's go ahead and go to that house, which, if you look at the sign, uh, just so you know, Anova's going to be a little bit quiet right now because she's looking up something on a guide. So she's going to be a little bit quiet, aren't you? Yeah. There, I had to ask that so you know she's even still there. Because she's very quiet. When she plays video games, she clams up. So, <laughs> like, if this were... I become mute. Yes, if this were just her playing, like, you'd never even hear a peep. Uh, to the pyrotechnist's house. So... Uh, pyrotechnist, that means dynamite, which basically that's what we want. Because if you remember last episode, there was something... Whoa! Wait, mm -hmm. where is it on the map? Where's what? The, the thing that we need. Oh, by Tom right Tom. down there. Okay, uh, I'm going to first take care of this demon scroll because this one's close. And here we go. I'm just... Just while, while this... She's looking it up, so might as well. Akuzo the Interloper. Find out now his fate next time on Okami's. <laughs> Okami's. <laughs> that's that's funny. Okay, uh, let me go and floral finish him. There we go. And go ahead and hit him. Floral finish him with my awesome new ink, by the way. One, two, three, four. One, two. It sounds like I'm doing... Was I? Not yoga. Uh, aerobics? Yeah. Is, yeah, aerobics. Akuzo the Interloper defeated. And there we go. Also, I have level 3 Godhood, which is neat. That's... that. I didn't really notice that. That's that's very good. Okay. Okay, another mischief-making monster down. Well, you know what to do, my furry friend. A quick slash of your brush should do the trick. Or a quick swivel of my swivel chair. Swivel... There we go. Legendary swivel chair. Yeah, that's like the best thing to draw lines. Okay, here. I can take controls while you read this. Okay. Uh, just dig that up and get whatever is inside. It's not a stray bead. I know that for certain. Certain. <laughs> I, I know shirts. Go ahead and talk about what, what's happening while I'm doing this. Uh, should I go inside the house? Yeah, go inside the house. Ooh, those fireworks are pretty. Yeah. I, I'm... I usually, when I read, I read aloud, so... <laughs> I'm trying not to read this guide aloud. Talk to him and read what he says. Come up it. with a voice. <laughs> also, I want to point out this music. Just let, let us speak silent real quick, and I'm going to turn it up. Just listen to that. Isn't that great? In fact, I'm totally using that in the end slate of this video. I'm gonna make a ringtone out of That's this. That's amazing. You you should you should do that. Oops, so go ahead and oops. <laughs> you broke whatever he's working on. <laughs> oops. Also, he's he's smoking a pipe while he's doing these bombs things. Go ahead and read what what happens while I do this guy. Read it. Okay. Come up with the voice. No no no. How I turn this thing on? What? <laughs> Her, her thing came off. Thank okay, you. Okay, there you go. That can't be right. It shouldn't be doing that. No, no, no. I checked and double-checked my formula. 
No, no, no! Hey, you there. Got a minute? Hmm. Whoa. What's this little wisp doing here? <laughs> hey, who you calling a wisp? I'm Isun, the wandering artist. If you want, I can read from here. If you... Okay, go okay. ahead. Uh, let me come up with a voice for him. <laughs> a, cr a crazy sounding voice. Okay, he, he's going through smoke, so I think he's going to have a little bit of smoke inhalation, so... <laughs> well, well. You're a little ball of fire, aren't you? I'm Tama. Hawk. <laughs> Tama, the flaming pyrotechnist. That's what they call me. I think Elvis works sort of well. A western Elvis. Flaming pyrotechnist. Tama. Also, Nova's taking control, by the way. Listen up, YouTube. <laughs> <clears throat> I'm just about to set off a humdinger of a doozy. Take a look at the formula I posted on the wall there. My whole career as a pyrotechnist has led to that formula, friends. Mum, <coughs> it's for a little firework I've dubbed the Midnight Wonder Boy. There's only one problem. <coughs> Even though I know the formula is sound, it's not working right yet. I know. Listen, pup. You've got good eyes. Fiery eyes. Smoldering eyes. Maybe your red hot glare is just what I need to set this off. Oh, and also red hot by what red hot glare, he can see Amaterasu's marking, so he knows that she's a goddess. Feast your eyes on the greatest display the world has ever seen. <laughs> I like my hum num num na. I love that. Hold on to your hats, kids. Here I go. The brightest constellation in the sky. The Midnight Wonder Boy. I switch it into my Hercule Satan voice. <laughs> oh, man. I like how his hat's a bomb. <laughs> Spit out the bombs. You know you know what to do, right? Draw a circle. Come out with the light. Ah. Or not. It should have worked. Draw a circle, have a line sticking out from it. You don't have... Oh, you, have, you can do it from the center. And there you go. What is that? That's a new oh brush technique. Man. What is that symbol? A beetle? A deer. deer? Shoot it. Ba shoot Bambi. <laughs> Holy smokes. Literally. That Tama may have a few screws loose, <laughs> but boy, can he deliver. Hmm? That light again. I love this music too, it's so good. Uh Ooh, one of my favorite parts. Oh, it's another constellation, Ami. And it's Little Dipper. Or Pig. <laughs> Two missing stars, you don't have to do it on those. No no no, that's not how you what? do it. You draw you draw dots on the missing segments. So oh. yeah. It's been a while since she's played this game. She's actually never finished it. Hashtag finish what you start. <laughs> And this is my favorite brush god. Yeah, this guy's funny. They're, his kids are trying to light him on fire with torches. Ah, <laughs> uh. uh, Matarasu. Origin of all that is good and mother to us all. Too often, it is easy to forget that which we cannot see. Hidden away, I'd lost track of you. But now my soul is at ease. I... Baku Bakugami, god of explosive force, led, lend my power to your cause. Use the cherry bomb to lay waste to foes and obstacles alike. Nom 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 nom. <laughs> They're cute, but... <laughs> May he rest in peace. <laughs> she just sits there, totally unfazed. Uh, poor... He, poor God, he just was killed by his children. He wasn't hey, killed? Yeah, he was. You never see him again. Yeah, he's dead. Oh, wow. Spoiler alert. In fact, you know what? I'm sorry. Spoilers. If you, I'll put spoilers on the screen right now. When I'm done talking about the spoilers, I'll take it off. So mute if you don't want the spoilers. In Okami Den, when you when you find that God, he isn't there. It's his children. He's dead. <laughs> Thanks, kids. <laughs> okay, spoilers off screen. Hey, did another brush technique just come back back to you? That was Bakugami, the god of explosions. I think we know that. Well, we knew that before he 
exploded. <laughs> His technique is called Cherry Bomb. Tama's enthusiasm must have awakened the god's power in you. Well, what are you what are you waiting for? Let's give that Cherry Bomb a try. Or let Nova give it a try. What about that cracked wall over there? Why don't you try a Cherry Bomb on it? Nova, say something. You read that. <laughs> no. But be careful. Yeah, Nova's really silent. Like, not just with... She's not camera shy. It's... She's just normally quiet. Which makes you wonder what she's planning. Whoa! Look at that hole! It blasted that cracked wall to smithereens! Love that word. I know. That cherry bomb is one destructive technique. I mean, just think what it could do to monsters. Dun dun dun! It's going to be tricky handling something that powerful. But I bet you're, you'll be using it all the time you master it. Or wait, yeah. Once you master Once it. Once you master it, all the time you so master it. So, how could Isun see Bakugami? Because he's on a ma Ami. Oh, okay. That's actually explained later. Oh, okay. Yeah, you're not saying spoilers, but don't worry. But that is explained later. The same reason why he's so small. And the same exact reason why I haven't mentioned his reference to mythology. Could I take the controls? Sure. Thank you. Monster I, Hunting? Yeah, Monster Hunter 3 Ultimate. I love that game. It's on there. Yeah, I have to point her to her phone. Okay, you need to go. know where to go next? Yes. Whoa, no! Okay, he almost touched me. Okay. Now, actually, okay, this whole video is, like, musicless because there's no music that plays at nighttime, so... Yeah, why is that? I should probably play music right now, like, the whole video. Although I probably can't because I can't extend music, sadly. So, yeah, Wait, I guess... why not? I, I, I don't have technologies. I do. Well, uh, I'll, I'll try. If I can't do it, then I won't. So, where's the next thing? All right, like I said, go to the Guardian's Halfling Ooh, and look... Exorcism slip. Southwest. Say what? Go to the Guardian Sapling and look southwest. Whoa! Oh. <laughs> Sorry, I have to look both ways before crossing the road now. Uh, southwest? Yes. So down the path. Follow the path. Okay, so I should cross the river. Follow the yellow brick road. <laughs> <laughs> brick road. You, you don't get that reference, brick road. There's this one guy in Earthbound. Right is this the one? Yeah, it is. There's this one guy in Earthbound who, like, signs everything he ever writes as Brick Road, because his name is Big Brick Road, because he... I didn't get to read that name. He seeks to become a human dungeon. He is called the Dungeon Man. Yeah. And he actually... Spoilers, he achieves it. I should do a Let's Play of Earthbound. That'd be fun. You don't have it. Yeah, I do. I mean... Virtual console. Oh, that's right. Thank you, Nintendo, for actually listening to fans. Also, that is a wonderful position. <laughs> and death. Now, it is important to remember... Okay, good. It says their name again. Well, I could have I could have told you that. By Wamaru? What is that? I need to read that next time it comes on screen, because that's a very interesting name. I'm totally naming my son that. Oh, that poor kid. <laughs> what is his name? I want to read it. Okay, another minute of it. Yeah, we know. Uh... By Wamaru the Vandal. By Wamaru. So I'll call I'll call my son By Wamaru, and his middle name will be Vandal. Imagine screaming that out <laughs> through a neighborhood. By Wa By Waramu. And then everyone, all the neighbors say Kazuntite. Yeah. That did not work. Oh, it did. Okay. So the last one is Izo the String Cutter. If Ryan was here, he'd do some Dragon Ball Z thing. <laughs> okay, where's the last one? All right, the last one is. I don't know which ones you've gotten already. Right there. Uh, gotten that one. Okay, then right there, by the. No, I dojo? don't have that one. Go to the dojo. Dojo. Ah. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh. Okay, I'll cut this out because I cannot. I should not escape these. So I'll cut this out. Be right back. <sighs> you know what? I'm going to borrow a name from one of the names of the enemies. This wet, this daytime is incorrigible. I have to wait all the way till nighttime for it to be nighttime, so I can get the thing in order to make it so it can be daytime again. You know, you keep saying that word, but I don't think it means what you think it means. Doesn't it? What does it mean? I don't know, but I, don't I think it means think... intolerable. 
You know what? I can look it up. Yeah, look it up. Okay. Nice move, Pooch. I'm taunting you because I'm not available as a side quest yet. Mm -hmm. Can I power slash you? Okay, finally it's nighttime! Yay! Where is this thing? Where is it? Nova. I don't know. It's around, it's around here somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. It's not like I have the map or anything. <laughs> <laughs> I rely upon you. You are the chosen one. Only you oh can prevent po forest okay. fires. Okay, go on the path Baby. that leads to the dojo. Dojo. And then look to the right. Look on the, show me on the map. Like, look, show me the map. Which one? Okay, wait. It's... <sighs> Uh-oh. That's not the dojo! No it, way! Where is it? What is that place up there? Oh! That... Derp, 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 It's, uh, the nameless man's house. Up. Okay, well, we were wrong all along. But good thing it's not, like, tur just turning daytime, because that'd be horrible. Uh, it's this way... And to the right of the path. To the right Whoa. of the path. That's not the one. That's the one. Hello, sweetie. Bingo. Let's do this. Ezo, the string cutter, appeared. Ah. That's an odd name. <laughs> yeah, like, what does that mean? Like, he He, he ruins Shamsians? That could be it. Which, in the, which case, all of the, uh... Imps should be trying to kill him as well, but yeah. I think that he gets married to a bunch of people and then gets divorced. <laughs> that makes no sense. You know how the, when you get married, they're like, oh, he, he tied the knot. Yeah. But then it's like string cutter, so he cuts the the strings and no, gets. No, no, just just stop there. It it, it probably in ba Japanese mythology somewhere. Or like this guy gets married, steals all their money, and I think he just ruins musical instruments. Well, you, you he know has the, a vendetta against. But them. the childhood story of the guy who got married and divorced like 50 trillion times—you remember that? No. Oh. And then like his latest wife, they're like, "If you can guess what my name is, I'll never marry again." And then she was like, "Well, your name is clearly Izo." And then he cut a Z in like <laughs> a bunch of people. <laughs> <laughs> and he became a, a renegade. <laughs> <laughs> that is the wildest tangent. <laughs> you know, that was like a combination of like five different fairy tales. <laughs> like from, uh, what's his name? Zorro. Zorro. Yeah. And Rumpelstiltskin. <laughs> <laughs> That's the best story I've ever come up with. I'm writing a book on this. <laughs> And with that, we've gotten all the monster list things, yo. Now we have to go talk to someone? Yes, we have to talk to Mika, who I could never tell if he's a boy or a girl, but he's a boy. I will I will tell you. He's, he's a boy. Oh, I, I know okay. now, but, like, Mika? Sounds like a girl's name. Also, he wears, like, a, a hoodie. <laughs> <laughs> with a crown. <laughs> Clearly. <laughs> Clearly top in fashion. <laughs> Wait, these... Uh! Okay. Well, actually, you know what? I want to get out of this battle quick, and I didn't get to show this, so... Yay! Cherry Bomb! If you just leave it, it'll do nothing. Well, it'll time out, but if you push it into enemies, it'll blow up. <laughs> it blew all, all their pocket change everywhere, and they're all dead. <laughs> like, I didn't get any of the floral finishers, but it killed them all in one go. I just, like, summoned a, a bomb, and they're like, Is that, that all you got? Is that all you got? Come at me, bro. And I'm just like bomb. They're like, what's that? I'm like, it's a cherry. Eat it. And they blew up. Th this is the story of how Izo stopped marrying people. <laughs> okay. This video suddenly took a, a change for the drunken. <laughs> like, I, I sound drunk. Oh, yeah. My voice for him. Ah, it's, I didn't have a voice for him. Ah, it's you, Wolf. What are you doing back here? You showed Mika's monster notebook. Dot, dot, dot. Dot dot dot. I don't believe it. Every single one of the wanted monster list name monsters name is crossed out. Now, what is to stop us from just simply dr scribbling out everything? It's like that never occurred to him. Yeah, it's like posted up and some little like eight year old walked up and like I want to use my crayons and he like <laughs> used them on the on the paper and gave it back and 
Uh, come to think of it, I haven't sensed any of them recently. Oh, oh. He's, he can sense power yeah. levels. He's... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but who on earth could have managed this? It's absolutely wonderful. I like that dance he did right there. I want to give you this... Uh, I want you to give this to whoever it was, Wolf. Understand? No, I'm a dog. <laughs> you obtained gold dust, which is a new collectible, which finally I get to release this video. Coming out today is a new video that says Okami Gold Dust, and that is because there are 15 of these located all throughout this game. And what they do, and oh, sadly I have to like blur this out, but what they do is allow you to upgrade your weapons. Yeah. Upgrade weapons. Weapon. You want to use the official word. So I can upgrade weapon and get mm. awesome weapon. So <laughs> there are 15 of these, though quote unquote there are 14. Don't don't quote me on that because it's not true. But one of them is like obtained so late in the game that it's pretty much like you can only get it very late. So oh, I remember that one. it's not even really worth it. It's just like you know what. For 100% purposes, it's here. Enjoy. But, you know, I'm not sure if I should use this on my weapon. Honestly. Well, isn't there enough for every weapon? There is, but one weapon's going to be singled out until the very end. True. Okay, I think what I'm going to do... <sighs> is wait. No, because if you wait in RPGs to use items, you'll n you're never going to use them. Like, you always have this item, and like, I'll use it one day, but that day never comes. So, I think I'm going to power up Divine Retribution, because while we may get a weapon soon, a new one, I may go back to this one. So, Divine Retribution is now leveled up. Yay! There we go. We now have a powered-up weapon. And with that, this video is... Wait. Over. <laughs> And as he waves his toothbrush around, <laughs> it looks like a toothbrush. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. Next episode, we're going to be going back to Kamiki Village to uh, sprout the last of the trees there. Also, that was cool. Um, what? You get to sprout all the trees in the village, right? Yes. Oh yeah, I remember that part. Yeah. So she's she likes that part. I'm not sure if she's going to be here in this episode, so you might as well say goodbye to her now. But there's there's a possibility she could be here next episode. Yeah, I might come back. She might come back. Uh, I liked having her here, especially when she gets to play, because I just get to sit back. When, you know, with Ryan, I know he's always going to do something random and kind of stupid. Like jump <laughs> off the bird and splat. <laughs> do a <Yeah>. face plant. <laughs> yeah, like that, that got annoying in <laughs> Skyward Sword. Or he's just going to stand there doing nothing, but... Nova, she knows how to do this, so I'm I'm probably gonna sort have her of. back. What would be horrible for me, but amazing for you guys, if I is if I had Ryan and Nova. That'd be fun. I have although, enough mics. Although he doesn't like this game, so. No, it's it's he's never seen it, and he doesn't like new things. Well, I'm just gossiping about him now. But anyway, uh, thank you guys so much for watching. I release new episodes of Okami Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays. Thank you, Nova, for ha being here and helping me out. No problem. Because I bought an extra mic for a reason. Um, and next time we're going to be going in Shinshu Field to sprout some trees, which I already said. See you guys next time. It's a beautiful view. That's cute. Wait. And slate. <laughs>